G'day, it's Pete here, and we're back again for another weekly free instant tournament. As usual, going to BBO, up to Solitaire, then weekly free. And uh, let's see what these eight boards have on offer. Board number one, we've got 15 high card points. Great hand if we find a fit, and we do. Uh, I got a singleton club, lots of aces and kings, points in my long suits. I'm just going to bid four spades straight away. Okay, and... We have a club loser, a heart loser, and some diamond losers. Uh, partner's got four spades. Um, East over cold as a past hand, and their club suit's kind of weak. Uh, but they'll be up around 10 points with probably six clubs. The ace of clubs is kind of an unusual lead, because I don't think they've got ace king. Uh, but like ace third, ace fourth, they might lead clubs anyway. Just trying to work out if it was ace doubleton, but that would give east eight, which I just don't think is uh, happening here. So the first thing that I want to try and tackle is uh, the diamonds. Um, my main hope on this hand is that east actually has queen jack of hearts. So if east has queen jack of hearts, I can play a heart to the... 10 um, and entries to the north hand is really limited other than the spade so we're going to overtake there and I think I'm just going to lead a diamond here and now and use that already so I'll play a diamond to the 9 I was hoping east had the jack okay but that looks more like the uh, queen jacker on side so we overtake and now I hope that hearts are 3-3. Three, three. So we cash here. Hearts are 3-3, three, three, which they are. And now if East has a doubleton diamond, let's say they had seven clubs. They got queen jack of hearts, uh, ace, or like king x of diamonds, king of clubs, something like that. And... Nope, down one, but, uh, yeah. 75%. Hey Steve, how's it going? Uh, lots of people in four spades, but uh, some going down two. So what were they doing? My guess is not utilizing all the entries. So yeah, so here, notice that I only drew two rounds of trumps and when I was in the north hand, went straight to work. I wanted to lead diamonds from the north hand, hearts from the north hand, lots of stuff like that. Okay, board number two, five, five in the red. So nice hand, one heart, two hearts. Okay, am I interested in game? So let's say king, queen, third heart and the queen of diamonds. That looks like 10 tricks to me, losing a spade, a club and the ace of diamonds. So I could bid three diamonds, long suit trial is one option. Or I could show two spades, I was thinking of two spades there. I can show my, a spade shortage. So I could either show this hand as hearts and diamonds, which I think I'll do. Or I could say, I've got a singleton spade and I'm looking to bid game if you've got like no points in spades. I think I'll just go the uh, three diamond route. Yeah, partner minimum without points in diamonds. Okay. And without very many entries, so that's awkward. Uh, firstly, I don't think they've underlaid an ace, so we'll stick that in. Um, okay. So East is a past hand. Ace of diamonds, very thankful for that. All right, um, usually I was thinking of just leading a low heart here, but I really have to avoid the heart rough. So we'll go ace of hearts, heart, and see if we can guess the hearts. They hopped up for us, uh, so we're all good. Yep, 64%. Uh, there's one where I would have known if they didn't hop up, 
I would have known that East had Ace, Jack of Spades at least, and the Queen of Diamonds. Um, I guess they could have still had the King of Hearts. It was still a guess here. So, tricky one if they uh, played low. Most people in three hearts, someone managed 10 tricks, but uh, it's not really there. Board number three. Now, this, like, I've been really in th thrilled about all of my hands so far. I'm yet to bid and make a game contract. Uh, but this one, we've got a 20 count with six spades. All right, so a couple of things. I could open one spade, and then I've got a slightly awkward rebid problem if partner doesn't support spades. You could consider two clubs and show like a strong hand with spades. Um, often it would maybe be a little bit stronger than this. Like if partner's got nothing, I might not make game. I might, like I kind of need partner to respond. Um, I could consider something like opening two no and just putting the spades on the back burner and just trying to go for like a match point win um, sort of board. I think one spade's sort of the best opening, but the rebid problems are kind of there with the robots. But maybe I just open a spade and if partner bids a no trump, now opt for three no. So I think that's the way that I was thinking of going. And I could still offer three no as a possibility maybe. Um, we don't have any diamond stop, which is the main thing concerning me about doing that when I know I have a spade fit. Yeah, I'll just go ahead. I'll just bid four spades. Keep it simple. Okay. So here three no has six spades, ace, ace, king, ace. Um, so you'd make 10 tricks in no trumps super easily. Uh, in a suit contract, I can rough my spade and then I could lead up towards the Queen of Hearts or I could double finesse the diamonds. Uh, the double finesse looks kind of appealing here. Um, although, like, if I lead it, like, if I lead the Jack of Diamonds, I am kind of committing to actually doing the other finesse. Ace of Hearts Heart, I could maybe set up the long heart. And I also don't have the like lose case of East having King Queen. So I might go that approach actually. And I need to be careful of entries. I've got the Queen of Spades, Ace of Diamonds. Okay. My heart is good. I was just thinking about if I needed to uh, rough out uh, winners there. Um, but uh, we're all good. And I didn't hop up with the Queen there because I didn't want them roughing it and then me having to. Get back there, I knew I could just use that later. So, board number three, that was. We managed to get to a game. I guess slam's always there. How are people bidding slam? Opening two clubs, two spades, three spades, four spades, and then partner just like kicks on with that. Like here, uh, slam is a good slam, but partner does have like an 11 count and just bid um, uh, one spade, two spades. I've got an awkward hand for trying to do more. This one, okay, board four. We have 22 high card points, partner open three hearts. So the first thing is, do we want to prefer no trumps or do we want to prefer hearts? And I think we want to prefer hearts because Entries to my partner's hand are at a premium, like give them ace queen to seven hearts. We're in some trap, like we don't have any outside entries there. Now, if I gave them ace queen to seven hearts, we would lose and like a seven triple two, no spades, no hearts, one club, no diamonds. So to me, this is just a four no. They said they've got one. Okay, great. Six hearts. Like I'd like to ask about the queen, but we don't have uh, room here. Okay, so they found the right lead. I unfortunately need the um, Queen of Hearts to drop. Okay. That might not matter. Like, we're, we're down, but uh, it might have been with a natural trick. No, there was a Doubleton Queen. They needed to get that. 39%.
Yeah, so some people are just bidding three no, and here, what you can see is you have no entries. You can't actually get to your partner's hand at all. So three no trumps is actually down when you're pretty close to making four hearts. It's only the club rough that beats... Uh, you're close to making six hearts. It's only the club rough that beats it. Uh, so when partner preempts, you want to be really cognizant of, like, entries to their hand and how you're going to get there. Uh, I would have thought more people might have thought about slam. Like, if you got ace-queen to seven, which would be, like, pretty normal preempt, like, partner's hand's fine. I think I could have maybe taken it slower and bid four clubs, which would have been a slam try, and partner would probably sign off and then um, maybe go from there. But, uh, yeah. 15 with a fit, so with two diamonds, game four, show spade sport. Four spades, okay. There's just like minimum no interest, so I'll trust partner at that. Okay, partner's got a nice hand. Uh, we're missing ace, jack of spades. Uh, we want to finesse the jack one way or the other. We're missing the king of hearts. We want to finesse that. And we've got a free finesse of the club. So the queen pop out, great. So who do I want to play for the jack of spades? Um, maybe West. I'll lead low to the Queen, and I have the pips that I can pick up. West having four spades here. I didn't show out, so my nine's high. Uh, I was just trying to think. Did I actually want to like cash it? Like. I should have thought about like trying to catch my clubs and pitching the hearts. Now, I think drawing the trump is just better, but I should have paused for reflection there. And we got the rest. Hundred percent for that. What's everyone else doing? Same auction, they get a heart lead. Was I just lucky with the lead I got? Maybe. Okay. Ooh. All right. Uh, tricky one. Um, 14 high card points. Six, five. Okay. I could overcall a heart, I could overcall clubs, I could bid two no unusual two no trump and then take it from there. I think I'll probably do that and uh, try and bid clubs. Like, hands good, I'll bid. I, I wish four clubs was just like, I have a six five and a hand, but I guess I just bid four hearts. Yeah, like. Why did partner choose hearts rather than the known club fit? Well, we still might be in a decent spot and or a making game. So we've got two spade losers. I can throw something on the ace of diamonds. Uh, it's really just about picking up these hearts. Ooh, they had the king. Okay, the hearts are potentially all like breaking. I think I, I was worried about getting over off there. I didn't know if there was a good alternative. Okay, so I lose a heart and a spade from here. So 96%, I like, we managed to get to a making game contract, which uh, I guess five clubs makes as well, but. I don't actually know why a partner with like not a great hand decided just to pick the non-fit. And then they couldn't even show that, hey, I've got a sixth club. Um, but uh, the heart suit was friendly for us. I, I saw, I was kind of confused whether all the points were like, 
All the points I actually cared about were in the West hand. I was like, East, did they preempt or something? Did I get that wrong? No, no, they have their opening. Just none of the cards I was caring about did I see them actually have. Um, right, one diamond, one spade. Uh, here it's between two diamonds and three diamonds. Um, so notice that neither of these show a seven card suit. Often people will see, oh, I've got a seven card suit. I'll bid one diamond, three diamonds. Um, but bidding that way just shows more points. And I'm sort of on that cusp of whether I should do that or not. And the seventh, seventh diamond does actually make it better. So I think, I think three diamonds is reasonable, but having a spade void, I might just turn it down and try and get partner not to get too excited on this hand. Well, now I am definitely accepting the invite. We want to go to game. The question is, what game do we want to go? Probably three, no Trump. Okay, well, we've got seven diamonds and three hearts, and we're lucky they didn't attack spades. Uh, six diamonds is on. Um, I wasn't expecting that diamonds to be so good and spades so weak. Uh, Like, I was thinking of just claiming the, um, the 10 tricks, but like they might um, give me a club somehow. No, I don't think they're giving me a 10th trick at all. Sixty-four percent, relatively generous, seeing as we missed a lay down slam. No one bid six diamonds. Okay, board eight. Uh, two hearts pass, two spades forcing. And I got this hand. Uh, nice strong fifteen count. My spades are good defense. I'm gonna pass here where they get to. Uh. Be a funny psych if they did it, but I don't think the robots are psyching, so let's just defend. Okay, Edda Club's lead looks like a doubleton to me, so or a singleton. Um, so we can just go Ace of Clubs and give partner a club rough. So we can get there and. Um, I want to try and cash one more winner, staying on lead if possible. Spade finesse, really? So they've got what two diamond? There are six, uh, two, six, two, three. I think they're out of tricks that can cost, but maybe a partner can get a Trump promotion or something. Okay, partner's got King, Queen, Doubleton, Heart. I don't know why they didn't over uh, If they over they would have given them a, self a chance of scoring the other one. But we finished with 71. And finished with 70, almost 72%. So pretty good uh, weekly free instant tournament. Only one bad board was bidding the, the dodgy slam, which went off in a unusual way, but it still went off. Got some fortunate lead on board five, but uh, other than that, I uh, thought it was pretty good. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this weekly free instant tournament, and we'll see you next time. Bye.